Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about how to share a folder in Windows 11 so it could be accessed over the network by other computers that you might have at home or at the office. Okay, so we are going to be sharing this confidential files folder right here. It has some subfolders and other files in it. All right, so but before we begin, let's go into the Windows settings under network and internet. So if you go to the properties here, yours might say public network. So by default, I believe Windows sets you up on the public network because it's more secure. But Microsoft recommends changing this to the private network on your computers if you're going to be sharing folders within the network. So you could do that by clicking on it. And then you could just change this from public to private. As you can see here, when you change it to private, your device is discoverable on a network. Select this if you need file sharing or use apps that communicate over this network. And then if you go back here, we have some advanced network settings and some advanced sharing settings. And right here, we have the private network. And you can see that network discovery is turned on. Uh, this box is checked by default here. And then file and printer sharing is turned on. So you should have these turned on if you're going to be sharing folders and printers on the network. All right, so then once you have that configured, take the folder you want to share, right click on it, go to properties, and then sharing. So there are two options here. There's this basic share option. So this will let you just pick a user from the computer and then assign read or read and write access only or remove a user. But if you want to go to the advanced sharing button here, then you can share this folder. You could actually add another name to the share name. So this will not change the name of the folder, but it'll just add additional text to the share name itself. So you could either add something to it or change it completely. Like so. And then you could change the number of simultaneous users from the default of 20, add some comments. And then here you could add your permissions. So right now everyone is set to read control, so you could leave that or remove it. Let's add another user here. Let's add Todd. So this is a user account on this computer. And then now you can see we have change, read, and full control. So we have some additional options here. Let's just give him full control. Okay. And then if you want, you could go to the security tab and then change the NTFS permissions. So there are share permissions and NTFS permissions. So the NTFS permissions lets you kind of fine tune the access once that user gets in. So sharing lets them get to that folder and then the security NTFS permissions will allow you to kind of fine tune and lock down access and restrict it if needed. So we did a video on NTFS permissions and how they work. So I'll include that in the description if you want to check that one out too. And then you can see since these are grayed out for these users, that means they are inherited by the parent folder. So you're not going to be able to change them unless you go to advance and disable inheritance. And that'll make this one folder that you're working with kind of like a standalone folder. And then you could decide uh, what permissions you want to assign to it. And if you do do that, you click the button here. There's an option here to convert inherited permissions into explicit permissions or remove everything. Normally you do this one and it'll just kind of keep the permissions as is and then you could adjust them as needed, or if you do this, it's just going to remove everything. So I recommend doing that one. So that's if you want to change the NTFS permissions. Okay, so we have this folder shared with this name here. We have the security okay. You know, you might want to come in here and take people off if they have full control. It's up to you. And then one other thing, if you open the firewall, there's a section here to allow or app or feature through the firewall. And if you find the section here that says file and printer sharing, make sure that's enabled and make sure it's checked for the network you are using. So I'm using the private network and I have this enabled and this checked here. All right, so now let's go over to a different computer and see if we could connect to it. All right, so we're on a different Windows 11 computer here. 
So if we go up to the address bar in File Explorer, start typing slash slash, and then the computer name. So the other computer that we have the shared folder on was called win11-home. You could also do it by IP address if you know the IP address, if the name resolution is not working. But in this case, we'll just click on that from the history. And now you can see it wants the credentials. So if it's a Microsoft account, you're going to have to format your username like this. So Microsoft account slash then the email address of the Microsoft user that you're logging in with and then their password. So this is the password tied to the Microsoft account. So if you're using a local account, you could do computer name slash username or sometimes just do username by itself without the computer name. And then if you check this box here, uh, you won't have to put it in the next time for the session here. Now keep in mind, this account here is on the remote computer, so you need to be using an account that is configured on the remote computer. You know, many times you'll have the same account on both computers, like in this case, I have this Todd Sims account on this computer and the computer with the share. So I'll click on OK. All right, so now you can see when you put in the computer name, it'll show you anything that's shared on that computer. So here's the folder we just shared. And you can see we added a little careful part to the end there. And there's another folder that happened to be shared. And if they had any shared printers, they would show up here as well. And now we could get in there, say make a new folder. So since this user has full control, they are able to make new folders, make changes, delete things, and that type of thing. All right, so let's hop back on the computer that's sharing the folder again. All right, so once again, make any changes to the network settings in the settings app there. Make sure the firewall is good to go. Right-click your folder, go to Properties, Sharing. You probably want to use the Advanced Sharing just so you can kind of lock it down a little better. Change any security settings you need. And that's all there is to it. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.